We're back at it and diving into our ultimate van build, right where we left off. In our last van build video, we had been in the middle of framing out our ceiling in the most brutal January winter. Gross. We've upgraded like crazy now, and we're able to build our dream tiny home inside of our converted barn, which has changed our lives in the most beautiful way. Our van ceiling is more complicated than most. It has two massive panorama roof windows and also two roof vents. It's the longest Ducato van they make, so we have a lot of ceiling to cover. We're comfortable admitting that the details of this van are pretty ridiculously over the top. Each piece of wood in the ceiling's frame is custom cut, shaped, curved, and assembled. That's right, the ceiling will be curved, mimicking the exact shape of the van to maximize our interior space. Every one of them has three points of contact, which is a bracket on one side. We have a rivet nut in here and another bracket there. So this whole thing is so structurally perfect. But the most complicated aspect of this whole ceiling are the built-in curtains. When the curtains aren't being used to cover the windows, they will be hidden above the ceiling, kind of like a pocket door. The decision to have these has made the entire ceiling process a million times more tricky because they need to slide easily, be secure, be lightweight, and be stylish. These curtains are insulated and have a reflective material pointing out and the blackout material pointing down. They each have multiple points of contact with different 3D modeled handles, and they slide along a 3D printed rail system. It's time for season three of the ultimate van build. Computer set up right next to the van. Heated environment. <sighs> These are the conditions we now have. That needs to be screwed in, magnet gluing in, and then I need to be gluing the fabric over this. Attaching this with brackets to the framing on the ceiling. This is how I trick people, thinking it's a nice cushioned fabric and in reality it's just a wood underneath. grips it and how strong just how strong this is this is a confident ideal solution that you have an insulated panel sliding under the ceiling that's killer oh this is great 3d printed magnet glued straight to the frame of the fan why not perfect height stop right here Everything kind of a modular, replaceable, improvable. <laughs> and there is a seal as well. One of these brushes I have from my cabinet making days. These are for wardrobes, so you don't have any dust in there. Wow, works pretty well as a seal. This whole van build has <laughs> been a lot, a lot, a lot of small tasks. So let me guys know in the comments if you believe I'll actually ever finish it or not. <laughs> because just in case you haven't noticed, this is not a typical van build. 
I've already had a lot of successes throughout this, like... Welding my own water tanks. Prototyping... 47 degree tiltable 1 kilowatt solar panel. It was a lot of 3D printing implementation, like... Security cameras. And this will be just another one of these cool features that everybody will want in their camper vans. A lot of natural light from the roof and have a privacy. And also being able to cover it and insulate it just in case uh, you need to do the street camping. It has been painting mania. We dealt with the compressor, a few little tables in the other room. I need to go buy some more gray, but these will be gray and orange. Do another coat of orange here. But the biggest thing that's been bothering us are these beams that are blue. Lottie still needs a few days solo on the van work, so I'll at least be doing some barn details until it's time for me to jump on in again. So I'm debating making this panel, this cornered one, and I want to have easy access to the camera and maintenance there. I want to be able to run wires, take it off if needed with no problem. And it also needs to be a support for the ceiling panel here because look at that, it has no support. See, it might be flimsy. It's curved and I'm going to be using the same plastic I mined <laughs> from this van. It's absolutely amazing, rigid and lightweight material. And it also has a, you know, this infill that is air gap. That's like the best material for camper van. Plywood up until now was the best in my opinion, but this, if it won't warp dramatically in this <laughs> heat pocket, then I believe in uh, my new magic. These last remaining details. Wait, wait, wait. This one finally will cover the curve. Okay. Okay. This is extra, that's cool, because I can tuck it under the seal of a car and have everything finished. Oop. So, other than that, it's cushioned, bolstered, and really lightweight. Painting is done. Well, not like completely done. There's still some parts up here that are such a pain to get to. So, so hard. So I'm avoiding doing that for a little bit longer. I tried my hardest, but I got too tired. Earlier this week, Laddie's parents got COVID, passed it to me. So I was like in bed for a few days, not too sick, just exhausted. Now Lottie's got it, so he's home resting, and uh, at least this feels like a somewhat of a victory. It was a little embarrassing that this literally took me the entire day because I'm moving in slow motion, <laughs> but I know Lottie will be really happy with it when he comes in tomorrow. New day, new beginning. Here we go again. 
<laughs> this time it's finishing the ceiling with insulation. Wow, this is a complicated shape. I would never do that without a template. <laughs> this would be messy. And then what's the point of insulating? <laughs> it needs to be nice and tight all over. I don't want to have any leaks. Look, this is a nifty little trick. I can actually... I don't even have to take the foil off from the other side. Because the, when the curve goes inside, it's gonna be supported no matter what. It's definitely not coming out. And I'll have always access to this camera to maintain it and, and not to make a messy job next time when I... When I need to maintain or replace something. That's actually pretty good. <sighs> definitely not going anywhere. I genuinely believe this is one of the best insulated camper vans in the world. This whole thing is a curve, so I need to scrape it. So you hold the back, I hold the front. And let's try it. To, uh, try to tuck it under. In here. You're in? I'm in. I'm in. Wow, look at that. It doesn't actually even need anything. Because, wow, I have a cover up. Wow, look at that. I didn't realize this. How I'm gonna weaken this whole ceiling, this plastic panel by cutting this whole thing out. Can't even see the, the markings, yeah. But so if I do that, and then attach the ceiling here, and then here, and then have a big cutout, this thing would be warping just like this panel. And I need to support this one anyways. So I'm gonna laminate some wood to pre-spring it like this. So it keeps the same curve and actually supports it here and I have something to screw the ceiling to. So then the panel would, then the cutout would be nicely supported all around. That's what we need. These small ones don't matter, but two big panoramas definitely need this tweak. Oh, this is amazing, this laminated wood, that's an extra support for the ceiling because it doesn't have any support in between. So also, because obviously these panels would be warping and falling down, this is extra support, look at that. 3D prints, kind of a curved, so the panel actually is gonna be sliding on it and supporting it from the bottom, so even on the bumpy roads, it won't be dangling from the ceiling. This looks so good. This has been an incredible challenging project to make a framing and follow our dreams because this is exactly what we wanted. This whole van project, it's not only where we wanna live, it's not only what we wanna be working on, the lifestyle that we love, but this build is like the ultimate project challenge. Like, can it be done?
And look it, it can be done. That looks so cool. And they slide so smooth. This is everything we wanted from the beginning. Being able to completely block the lights from the moon or from the street lamps. And on the other hand, when driving, we notice the big air leaks through the vents. Yeah. So this way we can close it on the big drives and easily and comfortably be able to heat up the whole van with no losses. And in winter time, that's a story on its own. <laughs> this is always great to have such insulated curtains. Such a huge noise block driving with these closed so, because all you hear is shh. Exactly. Noise insulation is a, is a good point too. <laughs> How we used to do it before we had a pillow that we would just shovel in <laughs> and other people we noticed uh, are storing extra curtains somewhere else. This is mm -hmm. final solution. The only big phase left of the ceiling is to panel it up. So we're going to have three different sections of the ceiling panels. So we'll be able to ever remove them, run some extra wires, do any sort of maintenance or upkeep super easily. The panels were using that plastic that we showed before and the fabric. So this is the color we're going with. We get a lot. It'll look really cool. A really dark ceiling always looks cool. See what I mean? I love it. It's like a cockpit. It's like a futuristic cockpit. Yeah. It's extra money when you when you buy a new car. When you want to have a dark ceiling, it's always extra because these manufacturers know how cool it's looking. <laughs> so still a lot to come, but we're moving forward on the van. Can't stop us now, honey. Nothing can stop us now. We'll see you in the next one.